Caltrans is creating safer passages for wildlife in state highway zones. Deer, mountain lions, bobcats, and even toads are finding alternate routes available to name just a few. By directing animals into these crossings, motorist safety increases as well. On the Alentia Cartago four-lane project, another species needed Caltrans consideration and protection, the desert tortoise. When driving along U.S. Highway 395 near the towns of Alantia and Cartago, you may have noticed a new fence outlining the Alantia Cartago four-lane project's future lanes. This is a desert tortoise fence. Steven Feiler, senior biologist and environmental construction liaison for this project, explains. It was the first phase of the Alantia Cartago four-lane project. So we went through, through uh, last year and installed the right-of-way fencing uh, along the entire alignment and that right-of-way fencing is equipped with desert tortoise exclusionary fencing which is trenched about 24 inches deep and it sticks about 18 inches high. This fence will lead tortoises to one of 25 undercrossings to be constructed throughout the project made up of either corrugated steel, plastic pipe, or a reinforced box culvert. The 35 inch by 24 inch corrugated steel pipe shown here features flat bottoms that will be placed underneath the roadway during construction. But long before these pipes even arrived at the project area, Caltrans biologists identified and documented six tortoises before construction began. Uh, three of those were males, one was a female, and two of them were too young to identify the sex. One was a hatchling, which is less than a year old, and one was a yearling, about a year old. Before biologists discovered these tortoises, there was no data on how large the population was here. This part of Vigno County sits on the border of the desert tortoise habitat in the Mojave Desert. Yeah, it was kind of a surprise to us finding, seeing as many tortoises as we have. Desert tortoise biologists approved by state and local agencies relocated the six tortoises to areas just outside of the project site. So we're not just throwing them out in the middle of the desert. We can put them to, at near a burrow so they have shelter if they need it. And there's a, we have a set of requirements that's, you know, set forth by state and federal agencies, guidelines that we need to follow for relocating tortoises, making sure we measure them, making sure we handle them properly, that we don't harm them. During relocation, biologists treat the tortoises gently and give them water to rehydrate. Uh, right before we actually relocate them to their new recipient site, uh, we give them an opportunity to, opportunity to rehydrate. So we'll lay them down in like a shallow depression with a sterilized tarp and pour clean water on them, uh, kind of fill up a shallow pool that comes up to their nostrils, and we'll let them give them the opportunity to drink for 20 minutes if they need it so that they're not stressed when we relocate them. The desert tortoise has a lifespan of 50 to 80 years, sometimes longer. With the current stretch of U.S. Highway 395 almost 100 years old, some desert tortoise may have been here longer than the pavement has. Constructing the desert tortoise exclusionary fence and providing them a safe passage underneath the future highway are just some of many steps Caltrans is taking to protect sensitive and vulnerable wildlife and plant life. The Alantia Cartago four-lane project is scheduled to be completed in 2024. This will be the final section of U.S. Highway 395 in Inyo County to be converted into a four-lane expressway. For this District 9 construction update, I'm Michael Lingberg, Caltrans Public Information Officer.